guess who's back? We are back, back again, heading south to USA. Keegan's beard is kind of back and I just shaved mine off. We are on our way. We're in uh, <laughs> Squampton. Swamp Town. So that is Shannon Falls right there. The beautiful, the majestic Shannon Falls, which literally looks like it's exploding right now. Over here, you see the chief. I was very fortunate enough to climb that bad boy. I just uh, had to chuck that one in there, didn't you? Some good friends of mine. Just rub salt in the wound for me, why Two don't weeks, you? oh yeah, Jolly, Jolly was not uh, involved in that. I was yeah. celebrating my sister's marriage. Congratulations, Crystal and Ben, on your marriage. We have bigger, more important pressing issues to talk to you about right now. We're officially as north as we're going to be for a good while. It's all south from here, kids. We're finally leaving Vancouver. It's a uh, sad, happy, all sorts of cool, crazy things. Now we're heading south into the USA and we're starting to make our way down to Argentina. So we'll keep you all updated on our journeys as we always do and look forward to uh, this season two kicking off right now. You are going on a run. Let's get scratching. Just spend the weekend hanging out with these bloody legends, Go Van Crew, um, who helped organise this incredible van life meetup up in Squamish, and Van Life Diaries, who flew in from Australia. So yeah, it was sick to hang out with that, those two crews and a whole bunch of other people that we got to meet. In that We just pulled up into Surrey. The van has run out of charge. Literally sitting here in the middle of the road, gonna transfer some energy because <laughs> we're stuck. The van just literally did this. It's going through the shutdown mechanism, but basically we have zero charge and we we're trying to get to a place where we could stop and charge up again. Not looking great for us heading over the border tonight. We're not caught up too bad. We can transfer some energy. Keep on moving from here any minute now. Let's say 10 minutes. Fucked up, man. We fucked up real bad. Fucked up real bad. <laughs> At least it's not on a highway. At least it's not on a high. That's a good point. It's not really a major road. It's an avenue. We just need to make sure the police don't, uh, don't stop us. And we're charging ourselves in the middle of the road and literally have no charge. But anyway, we are charging. Keegan's defeated down there on the side of the road. But I'm gramming, so I'm doing something. Right. Gramming. We got a gram, right? Gram. It's all about the adventure. That's all right now, mama. In the way you do. So we moved off the road and we just got a visit from the Royal Canadian Mounted Police Force. Hey, Keegan. Doing anything illegal, mate? Just hanging out. Suspicious vehicle. Is that what we were? Someone had a winch. They said it had been there for an hour and a half, so that was out on the street, which is fair. Yeah, we were. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely out on the street for an hour and a half charging this thing. But we're not anymore. He's just doing investigations, making sure that we're not we're not doing anything too wrong. I photographic is just quick. Uh-huh. Okay. Sure, no worries. So we just want to finish off the saga. We are charging the van now. We got off the side of the road. Currently ready to sit down and watch some Game of Thrones and eat some delicious num, 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 nums. red curry. We are currently stuck in Surrey, <laughs> trying to get over the border. We are at a charging station because we're going to get one last charge off the hydro grid before we cross into the border and like make it over the border and get to the coastline, maybe around Bellingham or just south, um, where we will charge again, so then we can make it all the way through Seattle and into Tacoma. Um, we've been charging here all night, and as you can see, slow charge. How many hours we, we've been here now? You can see that little blue line, it's just such a little, little, little trickle. 
And so we've only just gotten over a quarter of a tank. Yeah, it's not the worst place in the world. It's actually quite nice. But we're Toomba keen to make a break for the border. But don't you reckon Joelsbury? Yeah, I'm pretty keen. Just want to get some more energy. Like what kind of energy, Joel? All energy is good energy. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Un understood. Very robotic. It's currently about 9am in the morning. I woke up this morning and the first thing Keegan said to me was, Joel, we're going to go talk to some kids about the van this morning. What I thought we were going to be doing is waking up and going to cross the US-Canadian border down here in Surrey, but uh, apparently we're going to go talk to some kids before we do that, so the job is never done. And to add to the early wake-up call, it is raining outside. I just updated everyone, told them we're going to go speak to some kids. So thanks for that. Thanks for waking me up and making me go speak to some kids. That's right. <laughs> how are you That's feeling about America? How am I feeling about the America? The big US and day. Oh, mate, I'm bloody keen to check this rig out, eh? <laughs> Very keen. <laughs> USA's a rig. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished up our talk here at Elgin Park Secondary School, but now we are off to the United States of America. Thanks for having us, Canada. It was a great way to leave you guys. Good luck on your future, Elgin Park Secondary, and we will see you next time we're in the country. It's fairly suitable that the last day slash few miles left in Canada, and it's raining. We got a full tank of charge to get us pretty decently into the US. Back on the solar grid, and there is no sun to fill up our tank, so it looks like we'll be in Bellingham for a little while. Classic Canadian border crossing. What did you say about those gates, mate? Brethren dwelling together in unity. Pretty sure that's how Canadians and Americans feel about each other. It also says, may these gates never close, but they probably close one day. Pretty closed right now. <laughs> Can't just walk through them. Need a key. We both remembered our passports. <laughs> Yeah, King kind of like tried to lose his last time. Cool we just got kicked out of Walmart car park. It seems like no one goes swimming around here. 